Hello and welcome, everyone. Thanks for being here and welcome to the best thing Madden series on all of YouTube. Welcome to the Durson Network. This is Rebuilding the Jacksonville Jaguars, a Madden 22 franchise rebuild series. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Durson Network. Coming off a bad loss to the Los Angeles Rams this week, taking on the Tennessee Titans at 6-6. Six and six. Big matchup within the division. We have five more games left to go before the playoffs start. Taking a look around the league for week 13. Dallas beat New Orleans on the Thursday night football matchup. The New York Giants beat Miami. Houston got their first victory, maybe second victory of the year versus the Colts. I'm not sure if it was their first or second. Either way, bad year for Houston. Detroit lost to Minnesota. Philadelphia lost to the New York Jets. New York Jets have won some ball games. Kansas City beat Denver. Chicago beat Arizona. Cincinnati beat the Chargers. The Chargers have also struggled. Tampa Bay came up short against Atlanta. Tampa Bay, another team not performing as well in this sim as they have in real life. Washington crushed Las Vegas 49-6. to The Jacksonville Jaguars, us, we lost to the Rams 38-18 to as previously mentioned. Pittsburgh lost again to Baltimore 27-13. to Sunday night football, San Francisco lost by one to Seattle 28-27. And on Monday night football, New England beat Buffalo 31-16. to Players of the week in week 13, Tyler Heineke won it again, this time with six touchdown passes. That's twice in three weeks now he's won the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Rookie wide receiver Elijah Moore won it for the AFC with eight, eight receptions, 219 receiving yards, and three reception touchdowns. Breakout performance for him. Defensive side of the football, Ramsey had two picks. One of them returned for a TD. That was against us last week. And then Mosley won it for the AFC. One player with an upgrade heading into the week, and that's Roy Robertson-Harris, who's played nicely for us as a rush defensive tackle. Big game here against Tennessee. They're rated at an 81 overall. At 6-6, six and six, we're at 7-5. and five. Again, this game has big ramifications on the division standings. Starting with ETN in the backfield and going to get it right to him on first down. Now with Robert Robinson on the carry, and he can get a first down, I believe. Actually came up short there. Now third and two. Going to go to Hyde on the fullback dive. First down. Robinson again here up the middle. Second and two going to ETN, and he may have a something. He breaks the tackle out to the outside. Could he go the distance? No, he can't, but that is a 40-plus yard gainer. It is just too tough to defend the speed of ETN. Going with the power run game here once again. Nice run. Now back to Hyde on the dive. Another first down. Great drive so far to start the game here. ETN up the middle. Can he get in the end zone? And he does. That's his 10th touchdown on the season. Great way to start this game against the Titans. Titans get the ball, and they are matriculating their way down the field, and they match us up right away and get a touchdown. 7-7 seven to seven ball game. Power formation going stretch to ETN, and again he gets to the outside for a gain of five. Not sure I passed the ball all game. I'm sticking to the ground game right now. Third and one, staying on the ground and getting a first down with ETN. Hyde now in the game, getting it to him on first down. Like to finish this quarter off with at least pass it, one pass attempt, and we're going to make it happen right now. Make the play, almost intercepted. 0 for 1, folks. 0 for 1, 3rd and 7. Got to go to a screen. Only one a pass attempt, and that was almost intercepted. This one's covered up well as well, and that one was almost picked. Goodness gracious. So we run the ball every dang play in that first quarter until the last two. We decide to pass. Both of them almost get intercepted. Nice punt. Tennessee with the ball again, and it looked like they went off for an 80-yard run, and we have not been able to stop them yet in this game from a defensive standpoint. Robinson with the carry on first down. We are going to have to make some plays through the air at some point in this game if we want to keep up with the Tennessee Titans. It looks like they're going to be able to do what they want on the offensive side of the ball, and we had a lane to the outside but got wrapped up by the defensive tackle there. Third and one, staying safe, going with the QB sneak, and looks like he gets it. They're going to say fourth and inches. My goodness, we're going for it. Another fullback dive to Hyde here, and he gets the first down. Looking to get a completion here through the air. Go with the quick screen. 
It looks like they got that covered up and they do. Have not been able to get anything done through the air and it looks like they have something. We do not have anything. 16 rush plays. This our fifth pass attempt, but there's a lane. Can he break it? He does first down. Getting Robinson back involved here out of the shotgun and a nice run on first down for a gain of about five. Running it here to ETN this time. Tight coverage here. Wanted to look for Isabella. Doesn't look like that's going to work. Got to make a play here. Might have to do it on my feet. And I got to get rid of it. Nothing doing. Trevor Lawrence just two for six. 12 yards in the pass game right now. 14-7 to seven ball game. If we can get a stop here... Not a good punt there, but if we can get a stop here, we have a shot. We just have to start moving the ball through the air a little bit, and we did manage to get a stop. Two minutes and 56 seconds left on the clock here in the second. Here we'll start it off with a pass. Tight end screen to Arnold. Cuts it inside, and a short gain, but a gain nonetheless. Here on a pass play. Mm, that was trouble waiting to happen. Can't believe I didn't get intercepted there. And I'm forced to go to another screen. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't have many things that can move the ball down the field right now. But ETN seems to get a first down every time he touches the ball. Is that going to be a late hit or a hold or a block in the back? We got a late hit here. Finally, showing ETN some respect. Going to try another wide receiver screen here. One of these got to work eventually, and that one, again, is a, for a major loss. 5 for 10 for 22 yards right now. Second and 14. Looks like they're in man coverage. Got to get something through the air. And they are in man. Jones on the pass. Nice gain. In zone this time. Look to run it. Get sacked on third and six. Man, oh man. Not a good play. Looking for a solid punt here. And hopefully Tennessee gets the ball back and can't do a ton of damage. Another good punt. Placing them inside the 10. Tennessee on offense. Moving the ball. But they don't get a score. And then they get the ball to start the second half. And they also come up short. That's a good thing for us to say the least let's get back to the run game we have good field position managed to come up with a turnover there it looks like let's make something happen and etn's got a lane and he's got a, a lot of speed and we already know that and it's another huge gain eight rushes 98 yards for etn robinson back in now and he breaks a tackle breaks another tackle he's down to the one this play has not worked all season and it's it's only it's math, people. It's got to work eventually, right? Isn't that what they say? We're going with a quarterback draw out of the shotgun, and this is the one touchdown. Tied it up there. It's a 14-14 ball game, and how quickly Tennessee gets the ball and comes right back for the score. Robinson gets the ball out of the shotgun, and he breaks a tackle in the backfield and gets gain of nine. Robinson's played well for us today. He's never going to be the big threat that ETN is, but. Who is, quite frankly? I like our combination. Now let's get Hyde involved on a stretch. Cuts it up field, breaks it outside, and a gain of eight. ETN here with the fresh fresh legs. Going to get a carry on. Ooh, he breaks it. No. Another one he could have broken to the outside. That's nine carries on the day for 102 yards. Going right back to ETN here in the power formation. Right up the middle. Get a flag. Looks like we have a hold. Who could this be on? I'm going to go with Shatley. And it's Barch. My goodness. They're in a zone. Jones is open. Nice gain on first and 20. Second and three. Going to Robert Robinson up the middle for just a gain of two. It's going to be third and short. Have to start passing the ball at some point, but we're just going to get a first down here with Robinson, and we do. Haven't been successful running any play action today. We're going to look to see what we can do here. And we got nothing. Can we toss it up, make a play with Jones? And we do. Phenomenal throw. That just shows the arm talent that Lawrence has. Great play by Jones to make the catch. First and 10, going to dump it off to ETN. Can he get away? And he cannot. Got to look for Isabella here and get it to him quickly. And we do. Nice play. Same formation. Similar look. Looks like they have this covered up a lot better. Got to see what we can do from an audible position. Mm, not going to be much there. Going to go right back to him. And he drops it. We're going to go for it here on fourth down. I don't think a field goal gets the job done. We got to make a play here and get to the line. No, come on. Really thought ETN was in on that play, and luckily we somehow get a stop. Going to Robinson this time on the screen. He's got a lot of room, but he's so slow they catch up to him. They're in man. Got to look to get rid of it, and it's going to be a penalty. Didn't want to take the sack. Had to get rid of it. That play is hit or miss, folks. Now we're in a tough situation at third and 20. Got to look for Chenault to get open. 
and he's not going to. We're going to get sacked again. Just 77 pass yards on the day for Lawrence. Not a good performance, to say the least. And that's got to be a penalty there from the blocker on Melifonwu. It's got to be coming back. Melifonwu took the hit, blocking the back, got up and made the tackle. Love what he's been able to do for us on special teams. And they're going to go all the way back to the 29. Come on, defense. Get a stop. And the defense does not get a stop. Tennessee runs out the clock and gets a victory. We had a shot and we blew it. 21-14. to 14, We take the loss against the division rival, te- division rival Tennessee. Did some good things on the ground, through the air. Just atrocious. Not much else to say. Taking a look at the stats again. No interceptions, no touchdowns for Lawrence. But more importantly, just 77 yards on 11 completions. Tennessee, you know, they had 13 completions on 16 attempts, but highly efficient. We did manage to get an interception from Tannehill. But look at Henry. 30 carries, 257 yards, and three touchdowns. Our defense was Swiss cheese. He was just running all over us. Robinson had 12 for 62. ETN had 9 for 102. Got to get him more carries, quite frankly. I always try to take care of him, but it comes back to bite me. And again, we only had 11 completions, so nobody did anything that great on the receiving end. Norwell gave up two sacks. Ever since we gave him that contract, he hasn't played all that great, for heaven's sakes. Jack got a sack. Collins Sr. also got a sack. And Jack managed to get an interception as well. Not the worst day ever, but because of our inefficiency in the passing game, we came up short and we lost to Tennessee here 21-14. to This was one of the few games where we didn't dominate the clock. Tennessee, again, 257 rushing yards from Henry. A dominating performance. Our defense had to step up, and and they just could not. We held them to 21 points, and our offense is really to blame, I think, here at the end of the day. Not able to get enough yards through the air, and that came back to bite us in the end. Here at 7-6, headed into Week 15, a home game against one of the worst teams in the league in the Houston Texans. That should be a victory. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Thurston Network, and we'll see you next time.